father. He had gone up there to do some work on the aeroplanes, and he, he said, you can come. And um, he, he, when, when he'd finished, of course, he had to fly the, the thing to see, to see if it was okay. And of course, and he used to say, come on then, jump in. <laughs> got me by the side of him, and, the, uh, and he said, right, steer. When I was being uh, made an officer, I was there, and she was there at the same time, because she, they, she was going to be an officer, you see. And, uh, she was then very beautiful and um, she sat down beside me because she fancied me, you see, <laughs> for some reason or other, I don't know why. <laughs> and uh, it, it, it went from there. We've never broken up, not all the time. We thought the same, very much so, um, looked after me. She, um, she was always there. You can tell when, when Norman doesn't know me, we can be sitting together on the city, holding hands, and I think, good, he knows me now. And then suddenly his face changes, and it's, where's my wife? And I say, I'm here. No, you're not my wife. You're not my wife. Where is she? Where is she? And he gets really distressed to try and find me because I haven't left a note saying I'm going out. So where can I be? And then in the end, um, he'll either say, um, I need to phone Louisa or Mark. So I actually, he gives me the phone because he can't remember how to use the phone. And I, I will ring across and say, oh, Dad doesn't, he wants to talk to you, he doesn't know me. And they chat to him. And while they're chatting, I go and change my clothes and come back. <laughs> <laughs>